YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. Today we have another tricep day on the Inspire SF3. Again, these uh, workouts can be used on any functional trainer. Uh, it's not just specific to this functional trainer, but this is the one that I have. But today's tricep exercises, we're gonna have like three different exercises you can do with no attachment. We're just using the cable alone. So let's get into it. All right, so if you didn't see the first video, it was with the rope attachment. I'll leave links to that video. And eventually as I get the videos up, we'll have them in, I'll have them in playlist, you know, tricep playlist, biceps, shoulders, back, chest. Um, today is another tricep day, but again, no attachment, just using the cable. And using this machine or a functional trainer for triceps is so much better than just using free weights. Because just like with the rope video, it's not just your pulling action, it's you have that tension the whole way back. So you're both ways, pulling and going back, you have that tension that you're working on your arms. Okay, so today we're gonna do some pull downs with this. All we're doing is keeping our elbow in to our side and just pulling down, keeping our shoulders. Don't get your shoulder up. With most exercise, everything, keep your shoulders back, keep them down, get your shoulders out of there. We're just working our triceps and try to keep your elbow as steady and in one spot as possible. If you wanna hold on, you can do that too. You just don't wanna be going because now, yeah, it's working my tricep a little, but also it's up here. I'm feeling it in my, my bicep too. Just right here, it's just isolated on my triceps. And something you can do with this exercise too, to hit the tricep at a different time of the pull is slowly, rather than doing like a drop set, where I would do this, say if I had it on 50 pounds. I'd go through my 10 to 15 reps, and then maybe I'd do a drop set and I'd put it down to 30 pounds and try to pump out another 10 reps. You could keep it on like the same weight, step back, now this pull is at the beginning. The farther back I am, the sooner it's hitting my tricep that I'm feeling it. So I may do 10 to 15 reps right here. Then no rest. I'm going to step forward. Take like a step forward. Now it's right in there is when I'm starting to feel it's a little later in your extension that you're really feeling the tricep again, another 10 to 15 reps. Then I'll move right up right underneath it. And hit it at this point. Try that. If you haven't done it before, it's just a different way. I mean, you don't have to do it. You could just stay in one position and do it, but maybe to mix up the routine, maybe one day of the week, if you're doing your triceps twice a week, maybe one day you just do it at this one position and the other time you try the other one. Trust me, by the time you make it to the, to the uh, where you're right underneath it, back here, you're like, okay, don't set it at too heavy a weight because you're trying to keep the same weight the whole time. You're like, oh, this is kind of easy. But by the time you get, you're doing 10 to 15 reps of each of those, when you get up here, your tricep is burning. It's a great one. Leave in the comments below if you've tried it, what do you think about it? And if you have different tricep exercises you do on this machine that I'm not covering, definitely throw it down in the comments. Let me know. Maybe I'll check it out. Okay, so now we just did that. So we're doing these kick downs. You can also come over here. Now we just keep it in the same position and you can do overhead extensions. Yes, in the last video, we did it with the ropes. Again, if you don't have the rope attachment or maybe you wanna hit it this way too, this is a great one. Again, keep the shoulder down, try to keep this elbow in one position where we're not like throwing the rope out because now it's more shoulder that's working, less tricep. So you can do those and then you go right down to kick, kickbacks, set it low. 
Again, try to get the shoulder back, try to keep your elbow pretty stable, or just Just kicking it back. And these work so much better than with weights. Let me get some weights over here. Because the problem with the weight is now we're kicking it back and it's like swinging forward. So you go back and there's not much tension on the tricep as we're coming forward. We're just swinging it back. So you're just getting that tension on the tricep as the kickback. We're here with a cable the weight is wanting to pull you forward. So yeah, you could just pull it and you're gonna throw your shoulder out doing that. But if you're going slow back, you're, this weight is pulling your arm forward the whole time and you're keeping tension on it. So, so a lot of these exercises I prefer to do on a functional trainer with cables rather than, rather than with dumbbells. I have a whole bunch of dumbbells over here. Have been using them for like, bench pressing and shoulder presses. But in those videos, I'll get into why I've now switched and started using the functional trainer for those exercises. And I'll go into details of why I've made the switch. Yeah, so quickly, with just sliding this up and down, we can go three different tricep exercises back to back. Now you could do three sets of like 10 to 15 on each of these exercises, two to three minutes in between. Or if you just want to do a super set and we're going to come over here and just do one position and knock out, you know, 10 to 15 of these. Obviously I have it on lightweight, which you're probably going to want it on a little lighter weight. If you're going to do a super set like this, but I have it set on like 20 and then just immediately go right in to our overhead extensions. And even though it's on a lightweight, my triceps are already burning. This isn't typically how I would do it. I would do, you know, three sets at one exercise, two minutes in between, and then move into the next one. I wouldn't do a super set like this, but maybe, you know, if you're not rushed for time, I mean, if you're rushed for time and you just want to get stuff out of the way and you just want to burn these triceps, you could do it this way. The problem with this exercise, doing it this way, is I would like to do that last, those kickbacks. I love doing those. By the time I'm getting to that, after doing all those, I can only do a few. My triceps already on fire, so I feel like I just can't hit the amount of reps that I want on some of the exercises. Leave in the comments below, let me know how you do it. Do you do one exercise at a time? Do you do supersets like this, drop sets? Again, so there's some three different cable exercises for the triceps. Really quickly, you can switch between them. You don't need any attachments for this. I think next we'll be looking at biceps. There are some other tricep exercises we can do on this. I'll go over those in a later video. But with the rope and this, I mean, you don't have to do a ton of exercises per body part. Three different exercises on a body part. Plus your triceps are getting worked on say a push day anyways. So I usually throw my triceps in at the end of a push day where they're already, you know, I've been working them the whole day, you know, on the bench press and shoulder presses. They're getting some work. So don't need a lot of tricep work at the end. I'll do about three different exercises. There you go. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed and be back. I think we're going to be starting looking at biceps next.